Hey guys, it's me Max Rainbow and I'm back for another video. So today I am super duper excited to be continuing on my reactions to Eurovision 2021. In this video I'm going to be reacting to Belgium's entry called The Wrong Place by Hoover Phonic. Now I'm super duper excited to get into this reaction because I actually loved their entry last year and I just am a huge fan of their music. I did an artist reaction to them. I remember when they were first announced initially last year. So I reacted to a couple of their old songs and I'm really really excited to see what they bring this year because because I do know that they dropped the woman. I don't remember what her name was, but they dropped the main singer from last year and they brought back, I'm pretty sure it's the original singer from the very, like, cause they've had a couple different singers throughout the years, but they brought back the original singer. Pretty sure she's the person who sung Mad About You. Mad About You. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see what they bring. I feel like people are really underrating them. I don't see anybody talking about them. I haven't heard the song, I guess, but I just feel like nobody's talking about them, but they are so, I feel like the fandom just doesn't like them. I'm excited to see because I really haven't heard the song. Nobody's been talking about it. So without further ado, let's get right into reacting. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay. I know y'all hate when I, I pause it, you know, so quickly in, but I like the story that we're telling immediately. First of all, I appreciate it hits me harder immediately. It just hits harder. Last year was a little bit too soft for Eurovision. I like that kind of music, but sometimes, but not for Eurovision because it's a competitive show. I like that it's hitting me harder. What we're seeing with the story right now, you know, she's got this man in her life that she clearly is not as interested in as, you know, he thinks she is. You know, we see her with a veil, presumably a wedding veil. You see her in bed. She's like annoyed when he wakes up. You see her at this dinner table. Clearly she's just like over him. I like her just kind of like drunken state. You know, she looks like a housewife like of New York where she just has her like eyeliner kind of smudged. She just doesn't give a fuck, you know, and I like that vibe. She actually does look like one of the housewives. I'm gonna put it up, cause. Ooh. I, I love the random she's wearing like an 18th century stay. I have an 18th century stay. Hold on, let me grab it. Mine's not like authentic or anything, but. So this is my stay, guys. Just halfway, just part, part way through the, the music video. Let me just show you my stay. It's from an Italian designer named Dario Princiota. Um, it's got this beautiful ribbon down the front. Um, and it's just an 18th century. This is like a high fashion interpretation of an 18th century stay, whereas the one that she's wearing is more traditional. It looks like it's actually like a kind of a recreation of like a historical 18th century stay. I just find it funny because not like I get that they're kind of in this like old Victorian vibes just with the architecture and the paintings and stuff. But what well, I mean, it's 2021. I'm like, why are you wearing a 18th century stay? This video is really beautiful. <laughs> Don't you ever dare to wear my Johnny Cash t-shirt. I like this so much more for Eurovision than their entry last year. I can already tell is gonna do a lot better than their entry last year would have because it just has more of that build to it. It feels more like it could be better for a competitive setting. Oh shit, she got a gun. She got two guns. Oh my god. What are you are you gonna kill him? I'm here for it. Do it. Oh, there's the other people from Hoover Phonic. That's cool. She 
she has a candelabra. Hold on. This is just show and tell, bitch, at this point. One moment. <laughs> Listen, bitch, don't ask me why I got this sitting right next to me. I don't need... <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> that is the chaotic energy that I've got going on. That I just have a random candelabra that I have just sitting around, you know, for for a rainy day. Once again, we are twinning. I really, really like this, though. This is really beautiful. The way she is strutting down that old-timey hallway. I hate that lyric. I hate that lyric about wearing the Johnny Cash t-shirt. It sounds so cheesy. It was funny the first time. I wish she switched it up each chorus because it sounds a little goofy hearing it the second time. It just sounds cheesy. Like, I don't know. <laughs> but I do really like it. And I love the way that she's performing. She really uses her body to kind of tell a story the way that she's just when she's singing and she's using her hands and stuff. It, I, I like it. Oh! Oh my god! I did not expect to see- Bitch, y'all better not wear her damn Johnny Cash t-shirt or else you're gonna end up decapitated on the fucking ground. What the hell? Oh my god! <laughs> um, okay, the plot twist at the end. Oh my god. That was- I really, really like that, though. That was amazing. That was a lot better. I love Hoover Phonics music. I think it's got the right... It's romantic. It's edgy. It's dark. It's creepy. It's perfect. And I got that from that. That feels very much more Hoover Phonic to me and, like, the part of Hoover Phonics that I love. So that was amazing. The video was so cool, so artistic. I loved it. And y'all better get on the Hoover Phonics stand train because I'm on it. I'm choo-choo, bitch. so <laughs> I also want to say since filming this video, I have done two photos actually inspired by Hoover Phonics video that we just watched. So those are being shown right now. I've been doing a lot of Eurovision 2021 inspired photos. So if you'd like to see more of those, you can check them out over on my Instagram at Maxi Rainbow. So yeah, guys, that is it for my reaction to Belgium's entry for Eurovision 2021. Don't forget to leave in the comments down below what you think about their entry this year. As usual, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any other video that I do. As well as don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter, at Maxi Rainbow, so you don't miss out on any posts, polls, live streams, anything like that. And yeah, guys, my name is Maxi Rainbow. I will see you all later. Goodbye. Mwah.